Hi friends, my name is Erin, and the last time you saw me, I was headed to a wedding with my fiancé and my family. In this episode, I am off to Putnam Pond in the Adirondacks with my dad for our first real camping trip in a long time. This is how we're making sandwiches in the rain. It's so rainy. I can't stop laughing because here we are in the rain with our sandwiches and our fire wouldn't start. And we have a tarp, but we didn't set it up. So we don't really have anywhere to be except in our tents. And we don't want to eat in our tents because we don't want to attract animals. So we're just standing in the rain by our car with sandwiches and grabbed a beer. And Ted, the best part, that guy over there is having a great time. He's got his tarp set up and we're just eating in the rain because we were not prepared. (laughs) We came to the campsite to probably sit in the car for the rest of the night because we were prepared. And we got a two hour oh. oh my god, I can't believe it. We're here, we're set up, and we're like, we can't. We're just standing in the rain. We don't really have anywhere else to go. I might just drink a beer in the car. My dad asked, What have we learned from day one? I said, Leave on time because we left about an hour hour late yep and then what would you say uh bring wood firewood yeah first night because we got here and there wasn't any yep we got here and there well it was very expensive and then all the closest firewood places sold out so then we had to just drive up the road and pray that we found some which we did but that was after we set up our tents and after we were already very tired, so we didn't want to like run back out. And after the rain started, so then we couldn't build a fire. Yeah, and then the, you know, even with fire paste, the fire paste burned, yes, but it is like, you know, it, everything's very, very moist and it's just not, it would have taken us probably like an hour to get it going. And we're starving and we're tired, so, but. Another thing we learned was bring sandwiches or anything you can eat immediately. Which like we did. We did. Um, yeah, we lucked out and we did that because the fire wouldn't start, we were too tired, and we made sandwiches in the rain. What else did we learn? The tarp. Yeah, I need a tarp for over the picnic table if it rains. Uh, I think my dad learned that he needs to get a rain jacket because then we were <laughs> eating sandwiches under the tree, which also wasn't very dry. Um, yeah, I'd say that's probably about it for today. <laughs> so we're drinking beer in the car because it's dry and snacking and then we are going to settle into our tents and just call it a night. Read, uh, relax, change, get out of these wet clothes and hopefully get a really good night's sleep. And then it's, as far as we know, not supposed to rain tomorrow and supposed to be sunny. So we might actually be able to show you more of our campsite and not be wet and actually be able to sit outside and enjoy ourselves. So, day one. It's scary dark out and I made it to the bathroom and, hello, good sir. I need to get in here. Oh, okay, thank you. Well, 
welcome to my tent. We made it. We're finally all set up in our tent and it is 9.06 and it's still raining. It's been a long day. Um, we got on the road an hour late and then it's been raining and we didn't get the tarp set up and we couldn't get the fire set up. <laughs> And um, even though I brought fire paste, which helps in the rain, but um, yeah, it was a whole ordeal. But we made the best of it. We got our tent set up, had a couple beers, and we just made sandwiches instead of cooking over the fire. And it's been a long day. Like, he didn't sleep that well last night, my dad, and I didn't sleep that well last night, so... It's nice to be finally in our tents and just setting up for the evening. I just finished. My dad's still working on his. He's right next door. And um, yeah, it just feels good. The rain will be nice to fall asleep to. And I'm excited for tomorrow. It's supposed to be no rain and a little bit sunny and warmer tomorrow. So I feel like tomorrow will be a better day. But yeah, I just got my uh, my little setup and all nice and comfy. And now I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I have a couple podcasts on my phone. I actually have a couple movies on my phone. Um, and we have no service or anything here, so I just kind of texted my mom and Corey, just like, hey, I don't know if I'll have service, but you know, talk to you later. Um, well, we're not going to be back till Friday, and it's Tuesday, so, like, have a nice week, everyone. But, um, it feels good to just, like, unplug and disconnect and just be one with nature for a little bit. We have one neighbor over this way, and, um, he looks like he's doing great. He had his whole tarp set up. He was, like, eating in the rain under his tarp and reading a book and... We were <laughs> struggling. I don't know, we'll be more prepared for next time. But it was funny, it was very funny, the contrast. He probably was looking at us like, what, what are you guys doing? But we tried and that's all that matters and tomorrow will be a lot better, so. It was really funny. <laughs> ah! Oh, so I guess I could show you my little setup. Hang on. Okay. So my dad gave us these bins so you can put some stuff in there. I put some clothes in there. Um, and then I just have my medication and um, this is like a really cool like solar powered uh, battery pack but it's also a flashlight. Contact solution, keys. This is my extra clothes right here right there and um that was what my fan came in which is up here in this nice pocket so all I have to do is turn it on and I have a fan right above me which is nice rain jacket in the corner um this was just to wipe up this little um paper towel wipe up some of the wetness that came in with us my shoes um a ton of extra blankets so I'm actually it's gonna be hard to show you this, but I'm on one, a sleeping pad, then a sleeping uh, bag, and then I'm sleeping in this sleeping bag. So I have a lot of layers. And then I have this fuzzy blanket right here, and then this quilt over here. And then I have my bears. This is Bernard, and this is Ezra. And they've never been in the woods before, which is very funny, because they're bears. How do you like being in the woods for the first time? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. They're nice. How do you like being in the woods for the first time? I mean, he looks like he's enjoying himself. Bernard and Ezra. Well. 